Today we're buttoning up the last part of Project Super Auto 2.0 and that is our direct port methanol injection uh, kit from Snow Performance, so stick around. What is going on everybody? Welcome back to the garage and I just want to start out by always thanking Snow Performance and Nitrous Express for supporting the Super Auto. Everything that we do around here, we are in the process of buttoning up the direct port system on our Holly High Rim as you can see down here. We've got the passenger side in place and uh, I wanted to go over kind of the jet setup and the uh, distribution. This thing is amazing. Nice plate, same plate that they use for the Nitrous uh, spacer for the Holly High Ram, but it's been adapted for methanol injection. So go check them out. Go check out Snow Performance. Go support these guys. They've been awesome to us. Be awesome to them back. And this is the final part before we get this thing out and start tuning it, because now we're going to have uh, all the chemical intercooling that we can handle through this thing and our stage four boost cooler. Uh, then we've got our auxiliary fuel system through the um, uh, Micro squirt, man, we've got so much going on here. I'm so excited. This is getting so crazy. But getting this plate installed was a bear of a time. And I did a time lapse that I'm getting ready to post up in here of me crawling up in here, cutting, fitting, retesting before finally getting this thing in here where we have the proper clearance. And then we still have to do uh, the wiring harness. And we're going to tie the two new solenoids in with the existing solenoid that goes over to the pump. So all three of those solenoids will be controlled on the same uh, circuit as far as that goes. Uh, and then we just have to go ahead and bring over our pump line here and tie into the T that goes over to our individual sides. So let's dive into the, uh, the, the checking everything out and all that. We'll go through the time lapse real quick, then we'll come back and we'll talk about the final steps to button this up. Okay, so needless to say, I was sore for a couple days after doing all that work, but it turned out great. It's going to look amazing when it's all buttoned up. Ignore the catch can stuff. I'm not happy with that. I've got a new catch can on the way. I've got to figure out my vacuum stuff, but it is mounted for the time being. Ugh. And we also did get a pulley in. Got a 3.2 inch pulley in, which is, no, maybe it's a 3.4. Very small. 
uh, we're going to test out the boost control on the 4.14 whatever we have in there now uh, before we go down to the 3.4 because that thing would make over 20 psi on this setup but let's look at the nozzle setup on this and and you saw on the old style uh, that it had the offset 90 that goes in there uh, these nozzles have the filter built into the end of them and then we have now a straight section that the nozzle mounts into then we have a an adapter that goes in the back side real simple clean installation and they fit very nicely on there and of course we're using the e6000 sealant uh, that nitrous express and snow performance suggests for their fittings uh, really just i mean it sits so good and it looks so good so let's jump over to the other side i'll install this last jet and then we'll throw the manifold on for the driver's side and go from there okay so i've already got the jets uh in the back three spots we're just going to top it off and put the last one in there and these are number two size jets so we're running eight number twos previously we ran a number five and a number no two number fives i want to say so we're actually going to have maybe a little bit more flow but we're going to slow down our injection rate on this and not inject quite as much. We were using methanol injection beforehand for both chemical intercooling uh, and for additional fuel because we were running out of fuel on our setup. That's not the case now because we've got auxiliary, so we're going to be focusing just on the chemical intercooling setup of this. And so we will eventually, uh, what we'll do is go into the controller, adjust our flow rates. We'll still start at a low boost pressure because we want to get the air charge cooled off but we're not gonna ramp up to quite the duty cycle on the pump that we were running beforehand. So everything just kind of fits so nicely on this setup. And the pre-bent, this is all pre-bent, pre-assembled uh, from Snow Performance. Let me get my stool. So all of this was pre-bent. Gotta push this out of the way. We're gonna wanna go underneath that. Everything lined up perfectly on the other side. I have a sneaking suspicion it will on this side also. So we'll come in here, just start a couple threads in one spot, line up the rest, start a couple threads. Make sure that we get all of our jet fitting started before we tighten anything down so we don't end up cross threading. Yep, that all looks good. And honestly, for the installation of this, the hard part had nothing to do with the kit. It was all to do with the spacer for the higher amp, which obviously was because of the kit, but the kit just went together like a dream. I mean, we're talking, if you had a high ram install and you already had room, you could do this in about, oh, an hour, I'd say. Okay, now I've got my T section and I'm gonna run these up and underneath. Hopefully there'll be enough room here. Okay, so I've got my two feed lines ran up underneath the front, and I think what I'll probably end up doing is putting a couple clamp brackets right there to hold those in place. But I also think I'm going to loom up my harnesses and run those right beside these and tie those together and run them alongside kind of back to where we need to be. The thing about it is, uh, if I look over here, here's my check valve going uh, to my nozzles probably not required in this situation since we have solenoids everywhere uh, but i do have my solenoids opening up just a split second before they start spraying so i'm going to leave my check valve in there to make sure that we can't push fluid back out of the lines so we can still kind of run up underneath the side there zip tie everything down And let me get the math sensor out of the way for now. Everything is zip tied down. Okay, next I'm gonna come in here, uh, loom these back. I'll get a length kind of where I like. That gives me proper room to get down underneath here. Perfect, okay. So now we've got our two leads. I need to get some wire and run it over here and cut it down and loom it up real quick. We'll also throw some heat shrink on these after we make the connections. Okay, so we've got everything plumbed in, everything wired up, kind of got everything zip tied out of the way, nice and clean. 
Got our lines running down our intake manifold. Still got some cleaning up to do over there, but we are pretty much ready to go here. But what we need to do first is we need to test our solenoids. So I'm gonna hook up with the laptop real quick, energize our solenoids and verify that all three solenoids are hot. And we'll use the, uh, oh, the, the screwdriver method of, of uh, being able to tap a screwdriver to the top. For those of you that have not really worked with solenoids before, uh, whenever a solenoid is active, it will be magnetized and you'll just be able to barely feel it pull on a screwdriver. In fact, you can kind of feel it anyways because there's a little bit of uh, uh, magnetism on there right now, but whenever we're high, it should really be, be pulling strong. So let me plug in. Okay, we're gonna go ahead and energize now. Heard the primary solenoid fire up. Oh yeah, it's pulling strong. Yep, got a good pull on that one and a good pull on that one. Takes quite a bit to pop it off, so let's de-energize. Now we'll double check to make sure that, okay, that one's de-energized. That one's de-energized. That one almost feels like it might, nah, it's de-energized. So, all of them are de-energized properly. I'm going to probably bump our amperage up on our methanol solid, uh, solenoid fuse over there. Uh, I think I've only got a five amp in there. That's probably enough, but since we're running three solenoids off the same leg, I'm gonna go ahead and dial up a little bit and maybe throw it up to a 10 amp just to make sure it doesn't fail. Uh, that pretty much wraps it up. We're ready to start tuning this thing. I gotta do a little cleanup in a couple of spots, but we are, for the most part, done. Okay, so we've got this thing turned up way past 11. I mean, we're at 12 at this point in time, but we're ready to start the tuning process. It's getting serious around here. Not only that, as I said, we've got a smaller pulley to throw on this thing. We're gonna make all the boost eventually, so you're, not, you're gonna wanna stick around. If you haven't subscribed already, what are you waiting on? Literally, we are about to jump in and tune a pro-charged uh, direct injected engine with port injection on a Holly high rim with a direct injection snow performance water methanol setup uh, with a micro squirt and EGTs and I mean this thing is craziness. Really excited about the EGT parts of it to see what the uh, water methanol kit does to our EGT. So I'll be keeping a close eye on that throughout the tuning process to see kind of how they react. And we will adjust our water methanol blend, or curve, not blend, but uh, the injection curve based on those EGTs to try and keep our cylinder temperatures nice and uh, dialed in. So we got a little cleaning up over here to do. We need to do a little more cleaning up on some of the wiring, get everything kind of buttoned together. I've been looming everything, trying to zip tie it out of the way, keep everything nice and clean. Uh, it looks fairly decent right now. There's a couple things that are messy. The intake ducting is, is not ideal, but we're ready to tune. So I'm gonna get everything ready to rock and roll. We're gonna dive in. We're gonna start tuning this thing. We're gonna make a lot of power uh, and we're probably gonna end up blowing a motor up eventually, so stick around. Uh, but big shout out as always to Snow Performance, my favorite methanol company out there. You guys, every time I install one of their kits, I'm just even more and more impressed. This thing is a piece of art. This thing is gorgeous. I'm just, can't believe how crazy this thing has gotten out of hand the last couple of weeks. Uh, so we're gonna be putting down some very, very, very big numbers really soon. Stick around, you know the drill. Thanks for stopping by the garage, ABT, always be tuning.